What's going on, Wolves? It's your boy, Said. In this video, I want to talk about uh, reincarnation. Uh, the idea of reincarnation, basically, uh, you, let's say, come in, live as Said right now, leave when you're dead, come back and live as John from England, the next life, and then leave, come back and live as Susie from, I don't know, Czech Republic. Okay, and then on and on it goes. This is the idea of reincarnation. You're coming in here, leaving, coming in here. And it's an idea that's hard for a lot of people to uh, believe in. It's a very ancient idea, right? You'll, you'll find it in Buddhism, in Hinduism, uh, and a lot of ancient cultures. Uh, I think the, the ancient Egyptians believed in it. There's a lot of ancient cultures that believed in it. Now, I found it really, really hard to believe in it. You know, because I'm... I, well, first of all, I grew up in... Um, in, a, in an Islamic environment, right? Muslims don't believe in reincarnation. Not that I know of. Not the mainstream uh, schools anyway. Uh, but also, I came to the West, you know, Canada, and I lived here for 13 years. And I, I you know, couldn't, I, until recently anyway, just couldn't wrap my head around it. It's like, no, that's, that can't be real. You know, that's not my version of reality. Um, but of course, lately, I've been getting into all these ideas and stuff. And I'm a bit of a rational person. You know, like, I like to look at hard evidence for things. And, you know, I always entertain the idea that I, I'm a, I reincarnated I incarnated before as a gladiator and a, was a warrior in past lives. But I always said it just out of joking. I never really thought it would be true. Uh, but <laughs> I came across some, some videos and some stuff and people talking about re reincarnation. And I looked deeper into it. And I want you to look, if you're, you know, a rational scientific person, I'm not exactly scientific but I'm not also exactly spiritual sort of in between I like to look at both uh, and you want some evidence or support for reincarnation I want you or invite you to look at three sources which I will all leave in the comment number one the main guy the guy that brought the idea of reincarnation into the West and sort of got people thinking Ian Stevenson Ian Stevenson taught uh, and was, I think, the head of psychiatry department in the University of Jesus, Virginia or something. I'm not sure. Please forgive me if I'm, not, if I'm not right. But, you know, he went through the scientific rigorous system of becoming a psychiatrist. And he was the head of the department in, in a pretty well-renowned university in America. Uh, and he went to East Asia in areas where they believed in reincarnation. And he did a lot of different cases and documented different cases. And his method was very rigorous and he was a very scientific person. And he documented uh, close to 3,000 cases, 3,000 cases of kids between ages 2 and 4 that would spontaneously recite their past life, the life that they just had. They named their parents, they named their siblings, they named their friends. They would have give them pictures, you know, when they went to meet the family. So, like, the, these kids would name all these people. They would name the, the names of their past parents. And th that these people could be, like, a town away or a city away or sometimes in, a, like, a different country that's in that region. Because uh, apparently in reincarnation, you a lot of your incarnations, not all of them, are in a similar demographic area, Right. Uh, so they would name these families and the, all these details, you know, minuscule details about their past life. Then they would take them to meet this, to meet this family, say it, it's like a different city. Say like, the, the, for example, one of the cases, for example, is in India. He did some cases in India. It would be in a nearby town, a nearby city. They would take them there and then they would show them pictures, you know, the, 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 their past life family, they would show them pictures and they're able to name every single person in pictures, like friends of that family that they had in the previous life. And in a lot of these cases, because it was, these kids were able to label such details, such little details about their past life, their past parents would actually like be so astonished and like would, would tell them, hey, this is your home. You can come here whenever you want. Like, you can come live here because they would just believe it right away because it's just like so, it's like right in your face, the evidence for it. Um, and he, Ian Stevenson documented, you know, close to 3,000 cases that are, you know, again, I want you just, I'm going to leave you links to check it out for yourself. 
Um, so I'm not telling you, hey, believe in reincarnation, uh, because it's it's a new concept for me anyway, right? Uh, but it's astonishing. It's astonishing that this idea could very well be true and is most likely true. Uh, two other people, uh, uh, if you want to look into their work as well, both, again, all three people that I mentioned here are Western men that went through the scientific Western way of doing things. Michael Newton, who passed away last year, he wrote a best-selling book called Journey of Souls. Uh, and he was a psychologist and he would take these people, uh, his clients, hypnotize them and he's able to tap deep, deep into their soul memory and they would remember their past lives and they would remember sort of the transition phase between this life and the next life. And the beautiful, the, the crazy thing is most of them would talk about similar things about the afterlife and the transition phase between this life and then the other side, let's call it, right? So look into Michael Newton. Again, same, same thing. He grew up in the West, studied the Western um, scientific method, and, you know, he became well-known for, for taking people, putting them in that mental state, hypnotized state, hypnosis, and then take them into their past lives. Another guy, uh, Dr. Brian Weiss, another psychiatrist, same thing, went through the system, the scientific Western system, uh, did similar thing to Michael Newton. He's also got a book, um, Many Souls, Many Masters, or Same Soul, Many Masters. I'll leave links for all of it in the comments. But the bottom line, once you really dig deep down into the stuff, and once you really look into it, you'll find that there's a lot of evidence, right? Like pretty clear evidence that reincarnation is real that it, it does, it, it is the reality. And once you start to entertain that, not even believe it, but entertain that, you know, oh, I just jump into this character, play it out, come back up there, see what I have learned, what, what did I learn from this, and then jump into a different character again. This outlook on life, whether, let's not even pretend, let's say the reincarnation is not even real, but let's pretend like it is. And let's say you say, you know what, this is true. You know, I've lived many past lives, I've, I've lived through different characters and now I'm living through a different character. This will increase your compassion for people a lot because you can look at people now and say, hmm, I could have been in similar consequences as you in a past life and I could be in similar consequences as you in future lives. And that right there, you start to realize that oneness that we talk about, that we're all one, one love, togetherness, oneness, unity, you start to realize that, you know, you start to realize, wait a minute, I am everybody and everybody is me, you know, I, you know, because one of the things about incarnation is that you, all of us incarnated as women and as men also, right, so for, for somebody who, for a woman that doesn't like men or whatever, or a man that doesn't like women or thinks low of women or a man, a, a woman that thinks low of men, you start to realize you're thinking low of yourself, because you incarnated as a man, you incarnated as a woman before, you know. And if you look down on poor people, you realize you probably incarnated as a poor person before. And if you look look down on rich people, same thing. You probably incarnated as someone with a lot of money before, or will in the future. And then you start to realize, hey, you know, let's stop all this judging and all this bullshit because we're all one. We're all the same. We just come in here to learn. We incarnate. We choose a character. We learn what we need to learn from it, and then we leave it. And then come back into a different character, different circumstances to learn from it again, come out of it again. Um, so that's that's sort of um, the idea of reincarnation, and it's a powerful idea, and it can ch change your way of looking at the world powerfully, powerfully, right? Tremendously. Anyway, more videos on this because it really blows my mind. I started learning about this stuff like last two, three months, okay? Uh, and it's blowing my mind away. As you guys can see, I'm very passionate about it, very interested because it's it's a mind fuck. That means I incarnated as a woman before and I probably incarnated as a black person and an Asian person. And although they say incarnation, you, you incarnate mostly in a similar uh, demographic region, but you incarnate everywhere else too. It's not like you just incarnate in one region. Maybe you choose to incarnate in certain region, most, a lot of your incarnations, maybe 60-70%. But you're still incarnating in all around and in all different races and different ethnicities. Then you guys are all one. Let's cut through all this bullshit and let's just have compassion and love for everybody. Anyway, that's it for now. <laughs> uh, if you want to support the Wolf Pack financially, 
Um, check out Patreon. I'll leave a link for it in the description in the comment. We're trying to get to $500 a month right now. Uh, and if you can help us out just with like $2 a month. It may, not, it may not mean much to you, but it means the world to me. Seriously, it means the world to me. We're trying to get to $500 a month. Um, so the link, I'll leave it. If you can't support, don't worry about it. Just keep watching the videos. Much love, much respect, much appreciation. Um, and uh, that's it. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Uh, but as always, don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.